Hey everyone, I got the 2017 Holby Camel Outback, the 2016 Holby Limited Edition Outback. I wanted to show you guys how I rig it for fishing. There's a lot of YouTube videos that were helpful, so I thought I'd show mine. Maybe I could help someone out on how to rig it for fishing. I'll start with the 2016 Holby Outback Limited Edition that I use for offshore. In the front, I have the bin. Nothing fancy. I usually store little things here and there. Anything that I want to keep dry. It does not stay dry all the time, but I do keep stuff in there just in case. For storage, I got the turbo fins that came with it. Got the rail blazer rod holder that I use for trolling. I took off the rod, ho rod holder covers. Just got in the way, so I don't use it. So I just took them off on all four of them. I have the gaff that I made for offshore when I stab the kings so I can gaff them. Kill shot as they say. Got my action hat camera that I use. Gotta have that for the actions. Uh, it came with the marine mat on the limited edition so I added marine mat for the hatch. They didn't come with that. There's pretty much nothing in here. Mainly I keep stuff for my GoPro, little stuff, lures here and there. Fantas CT seat, nothing fancy about that. With the limited, just got the blue accent. Life jacket, don't leave home without it. I put the knob on the rudder control, I love it. Got the torpedo bait bucket that I use for trolling. Typically I would let me see if I can grab this. Typically, I would carabine it to my anchor trolley system. And then I just troll along with it. This is the Yak Attack. What is it called? The Yak Attack. Yak Attack anchor trolley. I have the Hobie rod holders that I use sometimes for trolling too. I have the Hobie live well. I added two extra rod holders. On each side it came with three so I put two more rods and reels probably do a review on that or a short video on what I use for fishing got the umbrella I always have that because it is hot in the summer have my pan portrait for my for my behind the back shots I have it on a mighty mount Scotty gearhead I also have a gearhead back here for my flag. And by here is my battery. Usually I have it back, I can't have it up front because I have the bin. So I leave it back here. This is the power pole mount that I used to use it on my limited edition, but I have it on my camel now. And it comes with a larger rotor system. And it is sitting on the Hobie H30 beach wheels. That is a must. If you're going to go through the beach, yeah, it's a must. I can't tell you how much it's hard to drag through the beach without those wheels. And the fish finder I'm ha I have is the Sinrad Go 5 with the Burley Pro sun visor. It does help a lot with the glare, which we'll have a glare right now with the sun. I have my CUDA pliers with the T-Rain and my line cutters. I put it here just because I lose it all the time and I don't know where it is half the time. Oh, and one mod I did was I cut this bungee cord because I didn't like it staying on there. So what I did was I just cut it in half and just now I just strap it in here on both sides instead of messing with the stock one. So that's it for my limited edition. Moving into my camel out back. It's pretty plain Jane. I haven't done real too much with it. Starting with the bow. There's nothing in here. I put the dog bone camera mount for my GoPro. Gotta have a bunch of camera angles for my videos. Got the MD-180 turbo fan drives and I installed the marine mat. I went with a dark gray and a blue accent. Pretty much close as I can to the limited edition one. I wanted it to be twins, I guess. I installed the center hatch 
nothing in here right now. I haven't been fishing actually. Comes with the rubber mats, rubber mat pockets on both. Same type of seating, life jacket, don't go home without it, don't leave home without it. Rod holders, now this is the PVC rod holder. I wanted to show you something why I used, those are the surf rod holders. The reason why I went with that is because this right here, the power panfish portrait, when it slides in, it doesn't shake as much when you're recording as you put in here. This one shakes too much, so it's a cheap, you know, everybody goes cheap on the PVC. Cheap, PVC is cheap, but I thought I would go with this one because it keeps the panfish tight. And you know how video with shaky videos, nobody wants to watch shaky videos. It's got the Hobie H crate. Put a mighty mount right here for my flag. Got my power pole, micro ankle power pole, probably one of the things you need for inshore fishing. I love it. So it is expensive. All you gotta do is press up, go up, press down to go down have the battery pack I didn't want to go with the cord because I really didn't want to cut into this kayak too much and it is sitting on the sea tug sand tracks wheel cart awesome cart use it mainly for everything else besides the beach going over rocks and everything because very helpful very easy but this is a short rundown of my kayak. Hopefully I didn't miss anything. I'm pretty sure I have a bunch of other stuff in my in my garage, but I didn't wanna, thought I'd show everyone how I rig it up. Tell me, how, tell me what you think. You like it, don't like it. Tell me what I did wrong, right. Leave a comment below. Thanks for watching. Check out my other videos, my fishing videos. Till next time.